welcome to a new Photoshop tutorial and in this tutorial I want to go and show you how you can make a simple graphics banner for your YouTube channel just a bit simple so some background stuff but I really like it and yeah let's go and start it Okay, how to start first of all go and download the banner pack folder there you go and get a banner template in it and I put some textures in here like six textures you don't need to use them all but if you want to use them do it whatever you want uh, here's the banner template so open this in Photoshop and here we have some logos and a lens flame so we will use a lot of that today then here is the banner so the template it's the top and the bottom that just will go show on a tv screen or something and the middle one from this outer line to this outer line will be go on shown on your youtube channel so what i want to do first is go and open and open and go and get this texture in it here copy and paste this into here so you see it's already placed into the middle here so the top will go cut off all the textures there so it's looking nice so what you want to do now is go and change this to color well let's go color dirt it's a bit bright but well maybe change it to so you need to play around with it let's go for overlay for now so next go and open another textures as many as you want i will do this now and yeah oh yeah and before i continue with showing you all that make sure you go and set all the images to black and white because then it would be looking so much better because it's one color if you want to have various colors, go and keep it whatever you like. So when you think um, this corner here, it's not like what you want, you can go and adjust it. So just drag it up and down however you like to have it, like, like that. So just play around with your what you would like to see. Okay, so now you have this kind of photo here. So we'll put it on the sides. And go to screen also go make it black and white so if it doesn't work you can choose this you need to right click on the layer rasterize layer then image adjustments and hue saturation okay so you can see screen isn't really blend in here so for that you go to image and in the hue and saturation go to colorize and then you can go and play around with the color so like okay now i go right click and duplicate it so okay and edit transform flip horizontal and then i get it over here somehow and then we go and drag it a bit down this a bit up like this next i go and get the lens flare so I put it on the top right, I think. Yeah, looks fine. Go and make it screen. So go and remove the corners like that. Go to image adjustments and now uh, take down the brightness. Also you can go and make the do put up uh, the um the contrast so it's like this here 
So it doesn't matter if it's on the top here, you can uh, drag the second layer with um, the yeah gray stuff top and bottom over everything so it doesn't shine over there. Okay, uh, go and duplicate the lens flare, so duplicate layer, get it on the bottom like that. So, get the other one a bit up. Eh, looks fine. Looks fine. Yeah. So now we come to the text. Let's go T and write your text. It's like I will just do an example. Uh, let's go for white and get it in the middle. Then just go duplicate the layer and so get it up and down and change it to graphics de graphic designs so then you can go and duplicate this layer and maybe get it on these sides like over here duplicate and get it on here well let's go and yeah get it on the sides here well Maybe go and get it down here. So, and there we go to file, place, imp. And then we go to Instagram maybe. And you can see it's really small, but it doesn't. And make the font maybe a bit smaller, like uh, name. this over there looks fine already and well you know what that is it what i would like to do is now make a new layer go and edit fill and then choose black okay get the eraser tool and erase some of that a bit more like this and then set down the opacity or whatever you like 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 this so yeah okay and on the end i will go do click here and the line tool i think it would be pretty cool to have a line over here so well let's go change the color to a white uh, right click Rasterize like light. Yeah, it's pretty okay, I think. If you really enjoyed this array, please like the video. Please comment below. And if you have suggestions for other tutorials, let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more of it, subscribe so you don't miss a video. And see you next time. Bye.